It's official, La Nina has arrived for winter 2025-2026, and it's set to bring a whirlwind of changes to our weather patterns, the U.S. National Weather Service announced it. A new climate pattern is here to shake up our winter. This announcement has meteorologists and weather enthusiasts buzzing with anticipation. La Nina isn't just a buzzword, it's a powerful force that can flip our usual winter script. It influences everything from storm tracks to temperature swings, making each day a new adventure. This season, La Nina is expected to stick around from December through February, making its mark across the Northern Hemisphere. Its presence will be felt in various ways, from increased snowfall in some areas, to drier conditions in others. By spring, there's a good chance we'll shift back to Enso Neutral, but for now, La Nina is the main event. This transition period will be closely monitored by scientists and weather experts. This time it's a weak La Nina, meaning more unpredictability and surprises in the forecast. Weak La Nina events can be particularly tricky, as they often lead to more variable weather patterns. Think of it as a less predictable quarterback, big plays, but harder to call. Just like in sports, the weather will keep us on our toes with unexpected twists and turns. We're coming off back-to-back -back El Nino winters, so expect a dramatic change. The shift from El Nino to La Nina can be stark, bringing a whole new set of challenges and opportunities. If you thought recent winters were mild or dry, get ready for a new flavor potentially colder, snowier, or drier, depending on where you live. Each region will experience La Nina's effects differently, adding to the season's unpredictability. La Nina brings a whole new set of rules. The usual weather patterns are thrown out the window, replaced by a dynamic and ever-changing forecast. Some regions could see heavier snow and colder air, leading to challenging conditions for travel and daily life while others might be warmer and drier, offering a reprieve from the usual winter chill. This variability makes it essential to stay informed and prepared. The bottom line, this winter will be anything but ordinary. From unexpected snowstorms to unseasonably warm days, La Nina will keep us guessing. Get ready for a season of surprises. Whether you love the cold or prefer milder weather, this winter promises to be one for the books. So, what is La Nina? You might have heard the term on the news or in weather reports, but what does it really mean and why does it matter so much for our planet? La Nina is a natural climate pattern that begins in the vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean, the world's largest body of water. It's not just a local event, it's a phenomenon with global reach. During La Nina, powerful trade winds blow from east to west, pushing warm surface water away from the coast of South America. This allows much colder, nutrient-rich water from the deep ocean to rise up in a process called upwelling, which dramatically changes the ocean's surface temperature. The result is a vast area of cooler-than-average water stretching across the eastern Pacific. This cooling isn't just a minor shift. It sets off a chain reaction that can alter weather patterns all over the globe, from droughts to floods. The ocean and atmosphere are closely connected, so when the Pacific cools, it shifts major atmospheric patterns, including the position and strength of the jet stream. This can change where storms form, how much rain falls, and even influence temperatures thousands of miles away. La Nina is one phase of a larger climate cycle called the El Nino Southern Oscillation, or ENSO. ENSO has three phases, El Nino, which brings warmer water, La Nina, with cooler water, and a neutral phase in between. Each phase has its own unique impacts on weather and climate. ENSO is a key driver of climate variability worldwide. It can bring heavy rains and flooding to some regions, like Australia, while increasing the risk of hurricanes in the Atlantic and causing droughts elsewhere. Its influence is truly global. The names La Nina and El Nino actually come from Peruvian fishermen who noticed these dramatic changes in the ocean centuries ago. They saw how the ocean's temperature shifts affected their catch and their way of life. El Niño, meaning the Christ child, was named because the warm water often appeared around Christmas. La Niña, meaning the girl, was later named as the opposite phase, bringing cooler waters and different weather. What started as simple observations by fishermen has now become a cornerstone of modern weather forecasting. Scientists and meteorologists around the world monitor ENSO to predict and prepare for its far-reaching impacts. In short, La Nina is a powerful natural rhythm that's been shaping our planet's climate for thousands of years, influencing everything from ocean life 
to the weather we experience every day. Its effects reach far beyond the Pacific, touching continents and communities all over the world, often in ways we don't immediately realize. This winter, as La Nina takes hold, we'll see just how much it can change, reminding us of the deep connections between our oceans, our atmosphere, and our daily lives. La Nina's reach is truly global, touching nearly every corner of the planet in some way. This powerful climate phenomenon is driven by cooler-than-average sea surface temperatures in the central and eastern Pacific Ocean, but its effects ripple far beyond the tropics. While its origins are thousands of miles away, some of La Nina's most dramatic impacts are felt right in our own backyards, changing the weather we experience day to day. In the Atlantic, La Nina reduces wind shear, which is the change in wind speed and direction with height that can disrupt storm formation. With less wind shear, hurricane seasons often become more active and intense, leading to more frequent and sometimes stronger storms that can threaten coastal communities. La Nina also shifts rainfall patterns around the globe, altering where and when rain falls, and sometimes bringing unexpected changes to familiar climates. Indonesia and eastern Australia often get drenched with heavy rains and flooding, sometimes leading to landslides and swollen rivers. Meanwhile, eastern Africa and southern South America can face long, punishing droughts, putting crops and water supplies at risk. The jet stream is the main player in this global drama, an invisible river of wind high above us that steers storms and shapes our seasons. La Nina pushes the jet stream northward over the Pacific, changing the usual storm tracks and weather patterns. Then, as it reaches North America, the jet stream dips south, bringing cold air and storms to some regions while leaving others unusually dry. This sets up dramatic weather contrasts, blizzards and snowstorms, in some places, while others bask in sunshine or endure dry spells. Some regions face cold, stormy conditions, while others struggle with parched landscapes and withered crops. The jet stream acts as a barrier, dividing frigid Arctic air from milder, more temperate air masses. Where this barrier sets up can mean the difference between a winter wonderland and a mild, almost spring-like season. In some neighborhoods, you'll be shoveling snow and bundling up against the chill, while just a few miles away, others might be enjoying a mild winter, walking outside in light jackets and soaking up the sun. La Nina's influence is a complex dance of wet and dry, warm and cool, shaping the world's weather in ways both subtle and extreme. Its global power connects weather extremes across continents, linking droughts, floods, storms, and heat waves in a vast, interconnected web. This winter, as La Nina shapes our weather map, be ready to expect the unexpected, because when it comes to the world's climate, nothing stays the same for long. La Nina winters split the U.S. in two. The North, think the Northern Plains, Upper Midwest and Pacific Northwest, gets colder, snowier weather as Arctic air dives south. Meanwhile, the southern U.S. from the southwest to the southeast usually sees warmer, drier conditions. The storm track shifts north, bringing more storms to the Ohio Valley and Pacific Northwest while the south stays dry. This pattern can last for months, but it's not set in stone, especially with a weak La Nina. Temporary shifts can bring surprises, but the overall trend is clear. A classic north-south divide. It's a general roadmap, not a day-by-day -day forecast. Stay flexible, this winter could throw curveballs. Canada feels La Nina's effects too. Western Canada, British Columbia and the prairies, often faces deep freezes and steady snow thanks to Arctic air plunging south. For skiers, that's good news. For everyone else, bundle up. Central and Eastern Canada, like Ontario and Quebec, sit in the storm track's crosshairs, bringing more precipitation, sometimes snow, sometimes ice, sometimes rain. Each region faces unique challenges. Vancouver preps for Pacific storms, Calgary for cold snaps, Toronto and Montreal for messy commutes. A weak La Nina means more variability, so patterns may break at times. The general trend, cold in the west, stormy in the east, but surprises are likely. Local forecasts will be key. Canada's winter script isn't set in stone. In Arizona, La Nina usually means a warmer, drier winter. The storm track shifts north, leaving the state with less rain and snow. Bad news for water supplies and snowpack. Less snow in the high country means less spring runoff, putting pressure on water managers. California faces a similar story. 
especially in the south drier conditions, a smaller Sierra Nevada snowpack, and renewed drought concerns. Northern California might catch a few storms, but overall, the state risks another dry year. After years of drought, any dry winter is a worry for agriculture and cities alike. Water conservation could be back in the headlines. Both states need to stay alert for worsening drought. La Nina means high alert for dry conditions. The stakes are high for the Southwest. This winter, there's a new twist, the Pacific Blob, a massive marine heat wave in the North Pacific. This patch of ocean is up to 9 degrees warmer than average and could disrupt La Nina's usual patterns. The blob weakens the temperature contrast that drives a strong jet stream, making it wavier and slower. That means weather patterns could get stuck. Storms might linger, bringing prolonged rain or snow, especially to the Pacific Northwest. The blob has already caused unusual weather, like rare California thunderstorms. With both a weak La Nina and a strong blob, this winter's forecast is more complex than ever. The two forces could counteract each other, adding uncertainty. Will La Nina or the blob win out? The answer is likely a mix of both. Meteorologists are watching closely, expect a winter shaped by competing forces. Let's look at Spokane, Washington, a city where La Nina's impact is clear. After two mild, low-snow El Nino winters, Spokane is bracing for change. Historically, La Nina brings more snow, averaging over 57 inches, but weak events can swing either way. One week La Nina brought a record 98 inches, another barely 30. That's why local officials are prepping their snow fleets and equipment for anything. Innovations like special snowplow blades and snow gates help residents cope, no matter what comes. Spokane's story shows that while La Nina tips the odds, local weather is always unpredictable. Preparation is key, especially with competing signals like a weak La Nina and the Pacific Blob. The lesson. Expect surprises, and be ready for anything. So, what should you remember for winter 2025-2026? La Nina is in control, bringing a colder, wetter north and a warmer, drier south. But this is a weak La Nina, and the Pacific Blob adds a wild card. Expect more variability and surprises. Stay informed with local forecasts. The big picture is helpful, but day-to-day -day updates matter most. Know where to get reliable weather info and be ready to adapt. This winter could bring heavy snow, deep freezes or renewed drought, sometimes all in the same month. Meteorologists are watching closely, but nature may still surprise us. Get your winter gear ready and keep an eye on the forecast. Flexibility and preparation are your best tools. This winter, expect the unexpected, no matter where you live.